we will make sure that we are punishing people who try to take advantage uh, of this situation. Uh, and we've put measures in place that will allow us to go after the deliberate fraudsters who are trying to game the system for, uh, for criminal benefits. Justin Trudeau is promising to crack down on people abusing the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. The Liberals plan to introduce a bill that will include tough penalties for people found gaming the system. But opposition Conservatives say it doesn't go far enough in correcting a program they allege has been plagued by fraud and is disincentivizing incentivizing people from going back to work. Senior bureaucrats over at the Employment and Social Development Department have courageously blown the whistle and said that they have been forced to pay out uh, $2,000 checks even in cases where they suspect the applicant is committing fraud. Allegations of fraud have dogged the CERB since its introduction in April. The new bill introduces fines and jail time for the worst offenders. Trudeau says in most cases, Canadians who made an honest mistake would just have to pay the cash back. But economists warn CERB penalties will disproportionately hit Canada's poorest. If you made under $16 an hour in Canada, 50-50 chance that you lost your job or the majority of your income. I mean, those are the folks who really lost their working income. They may or may not have been eligible for CERB, but they're, they're the ones who are most likely to have applied and taken advantage of it. Uh, so what may well happen is it's these low-wage workers who mistakenly applied or got caught up in overlap between different programs uh, that might be the ones to be prosecuted and potentially jailed. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh agrees. He's calling for a CERB extension and warns excessive penalties are only going to hurt the same people the CERB was supposed to help. The richest people in society, the wealthiest and most powerful people in society aren't impacted by criminal law changes. The poorest people are most impacted. And the poorest people also happen to be the most vulnerable who are also racialized. Now, the bill introducing CERB penalties is expected to enter the House of Commons on Wednesday. It'll also introduce new limits on the program. If passed, people who don't go back to work when it's reasonable to do so or reject a reasonable job offer won't be getting any more CERB cash. The NDP say they won't be supporting the bill, but the Liberals would only need 14 votes from the opposition Conservatives to have a majority. In Ottawa, Shao Lee City News.